What's up? This is Catsucker Four, and this is a, uh, a new vlog video I thought I'd do. Um, I, haven't, I haven't uploaded a video in about a month, I think it is. Um, the reason for that is I've got a, one or two videos already on my computer. Uh, I just need to edit, but I just hadn't uh, edited them yet for a while. Um, and that was due to certain stuff I was I had to do at home and personally. Uh, but I want I want to stay try and motivate myself for the rest of this day. Film a couple videos, upload. Edit whatever ones need to be edited and upload those maybe like two this week, one next week, and so on. But I thought I'd do just a general vlog, a bit of an update kind of thing. Um, talk about some of the stuff I've been uh, watching, playing, reading, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll just quickly. Uh, Easter's rolled by, which is. Um, it's my uh, East. I got to spend it with the family, with my nieces and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, I uh, spent a lot of time with my nieces looking after them and stuff, which has been pretty cool as well. Um, and my uh, on Easter, uh, on Good Friday, uh, when I saw my phone, my cousins, I saw my cousins, and one of them brought uh, a DVD for me to borrow, which is pretty cool. And that was um, the 2014 uh, TMNT movie. Damn right. And yeah, I watched this uh, the night I got back, and. I've heard a lot of stuff about this uh, film. I, I'm a big Turtle fan. A little while, I'd say last month or the month before that, I was on a massive Turtle hype. I was watching. I watched uh, the first two seasons of the 2012 series. I rewatched the first two uh, movies from like the 80s, kind of things. The 80s. Um, so I watched the 2007 movie. I watched one or two bits of from the 2003 animated series. Uh, I was looking. I was. I went to the comic book series as well. I was in a massive total hype, and I should have done a video about it, but I just. I'm not sure why I didn't. I was kind of there was stuff going on, so I didn't really. Uh, I just didn't make any videos for it, which I should have done, which was really stupid. And I was actually going to do a video. I was going to play um, a certain game and talk about some stuff, but I just didn't in the end, and I don't know why. But yeah, the movie overall is it's got some got quite a few differences in it. Mainly the turtles about like the size of them and stuff. I did not like the normal turtles we know and stuff, but I must say the movie wasn't bad. The movie was good. I I enjoyed it. There was some stuff that got uh, that bothered me a little bit. The turtles I loved them. Were, they were just enjoyable. They were just like the turtles I like to see. Um, the look of them and stuff is pretty cool. Um, once you you get over the bim, being like big bulky monsters, it's it's fun. It's enjoyable. They, I don't mind them. I don't mind them like that to be honest. It's it's a bit of a change up. The shredding it was pretty impressive. Splintering it was kind of weird. Splintering it got me. Uh, I can't. I can't remember the actor, but the voice kind of got me at the start. But I got sucked into it. I thought it was um, the guy playing was played a good Splinter. Uh, Shredder was all right in this. I wish they didn't put Cry in it. I wish they didn't have Cry in the film, because she plays such a smaller role and she's such a bigger character than that in the comics and the animated series that are out. So I, I kind of wish they didn't put Cry in it. They they could have set her back, put her in the second film, and made her. Actually, I don't I don't know if she, I can't remember, but I don't think she dies in it, so she could easily come back. But I don't think that they should have put her in the movie. She she should have came back, and it should have been like um like Revenge for Shredder kind of thing. But uh, that that's one thing that bothered me. Another thing was uh, April and April O'Neil in this. Something about April in this kind of bothered me as well. I don't, I don't hate her in this, but there's something about her in this film that I didn't really enjoy. I don't, uh, I don't think Megan Fox did a bad, did, did bad thing. I think she did pretty well. But the same with April O'Neil in this, I just didn't like. I'm not sure what it is, but something in here. The origin story change up. I thought it was, it was different having Splinter learn martial arts first from books and stuff, and then teach the turtles. That was pretty different. But from the, if you read the comic series, the the uh, how they became the turtles it's uh, much more of a is that is is it a good is it a wrong idea or is it just ridiculous if you don't uh, to basically break it down for you if you haven't read it basically it's how they become the turtles it's a bit more to it than what I'm going to say but it's basically kind of reincarnation to it and I've only read the first two volumes so there could be even more there could be more stuff to it than just reincarnation Kind of things to it. There's, there's all, there's like, there is science stuff involved in it. With the, not just reincarnation, they just, they just become. That's life. There's like science parts to it, like animal testing and stuff like that. If you read the comments or look at um, something about it online, and yeah, just do that because I'm probably not giving it a good enough idea. 
and I've only I've only read um, the first two volumes. I want to get the micro. I've got the third volume already, but I want to get the uh, first micro series, which has four issues, and it's each issue is a story about each turtle. Because I've heard that comes in between that comes between eight. You should that should be read between eight and nine, because that uh, it shows a few more characters and stuff. So I'm waiting to get that before I carry on reading. So I'm a bit of a hold on that. Another thing which people are going to probably have a go at me for. Uh, this is my first... Well, a friend of mine gave me this film. I remember watching a bit of it when, like years and years back. Like during the uh, summer holidays years back. It was just on TV. I was stuck there just watching it. I was around my cousins at the time. So I think because uh, I wanted to go play with them and stuff. I got distracted and I just left the TV. But I was really stuck onto it. <clears throat> and that was uh, Howl's Moving Castle, which my friend gave to me. Um, and it's a pretty good movie. It's a really enjoyable film. I love this film. Um, and it's my first Ghibli movie, which I know people are going to give me crap for. I know about Ghibli films. I haven't watched any, just because I'm I'm just slow to the uptake. I'm not really, I'm not always on the ball with like the latest things on certain stuff, like the hype with certain movie series and stuff. I'm kind of late to, which. I'm not really fussed about it. That means I, I get to enjoy them a little bit later. Because and anime movies like this are just... They're really, really good. I've heard so much about it from uh, people online, from friends, that they really like them. And yeah, so that's the first Ghibli film I've ever seen. It's really enjoyable. I love the film. Um, some parts in the story confuse me a little bit, but huh, I, can, I can deal with that. It's a great film. Uh, another thing I've been doing is I've been re-watching a certain sitcom of mine, which I'd probably say is my favourite sitcom series, and that is uh, Scrubs. I've watched, I've been watching the series of Get Back Again from series, from the start of series 4, and I'm back on series 8 at the moment. I've got 1 to 3, but a little while before I started re-watching it, I was watching odd episodes from between seasons 1 to 3 of certain episodes. So I might even go back and watch seasons 1, 2 and 3 again, just for the hell of it. I've watched through the series a couple times. And I say it's my favourite. I know that people are going to say stuff like about like uh, like um, Friends, How I Met Your Mother, Big Bang Theory, stuff like that. <clears throat> but I do enjoy those. Those are in my top ten, obviously. But Scrubs is my favourite because it's got the fun moments, the funny, so much comedy in it, the real emotional moments that you don't get with a lot of sitcoms because it's in a hospital. So you're going to have that sort of drama and stuff, which I, I like. And yeah, I just really enjoy I really enjoy Scrubs, and I'm loving the series. And it always saddens me when I watch the ending, and I remember that it finished. And season nine, I haven't got. I know what's involved in it. I've seen. I don't know if I've seen all of it or just most of it or bits of it. But I know what's in season nine, and I can wait to get it on DVD unless I see it cheap somewhere. So I'm. Season nine isn't terrible, but I appreciate what they tried to do. They tried to bring back the series in a new way, which I appreciate. But mm, season nine just isn't. This isn't there. Just isn't there. Uh, a game that I finished as well, which I actually did um, a video of, but I deleted it because the quality was just rubbish. And that is of uh, Transformers: Rise of the Dark Spark. I know, I know. This is basically the Arkham Origins of um, the Transformers Cybertron series, and it doesn't even have Cybertron in the name. Fucking pisses me off. The game. I'll, I'll probably do a whole video about this, but the game. It's me. If you can get it for about maybe 10 to 12 quid, fine, get it. Especially on PS4 because of the better graphics and stuff. If you can get it from 10, but about 10 to 12, even less than that, obviously, better, get it. Because I live in the UK, so it's pounds. So if you can get it for 10 to 12, get it, I'd say. If you've got the spare cash and you want to just play something to spare some time, get it. Apart from that, leave it alone. Don't go near it. It's The story's... The Cybertron part of the story isn't bad, but as soon as it goes, it's the Earth part, which really pisses me off. They shouldn't have done it. They shouldn't have added that to the series. Which And this this hasn't got anything to do with Earth Inc. High Moon Studios as well. So, technically, it's not part of the original... It's not part of the Cybertron series, really. A lot of people don't consider it. It's because it, they shouldn't have tied in the movie. The movie part, they shouldn't have done it. It's, it's really glitchy. It's basically the Arkham Origins. It's glitchy... It's not got a terrible story, but there's just parts of it that bothers a lot of people. Main thing that bothers me on this is the glitchiness. The glitchiness just irritates me. But yeah, I'll probably do. I might do. I'll probably do a, view, a video. I'm gonna do another video on that because I want to get 
Ooh, I, I want to get some stuff out about that. I don't want to talk about a few other Transformers stuff. And also, I've been looking at um, Transformer, uh, the IGW comic series, because I had a few issues from the previous one. Um, I don't think there's another name for it. I think it's just Transformers. And uh, I had a, I read few. I had four issues from the previous uh, series, and I read through uh, those four again. And I was thinking about collecting the paperback for it. And I know there's, I think it's more than meets the eye now, which is like a whole new team and stuff with, uh, I think it's Hot Rod, Ultra Magnus, and all that. So I'm thinking of getting though. I'm thinking of getting back into that series because I know it's like Team and T, the IDW series, like four issues uh, volume. Which I'm fine with, I just haven't got the money for it at the moment. The stuff I want to get for the next month or two. Plus MCM, uh, next month at the end of May, I've got that I want. I need money for, so. But yeah, I'm going to talk about that stuff at another time. Um, uh, just a little thing, Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. If you haven't played this yet, I, I recommend uh, picking up if you can get it for a good price. I wish I got this on PS4 to be honest, but I didn't have one at the time. But I'm still glad I got the game. PS3, it's great quality anyway. But it's just if it was on PS4, I'd have more to play because I've got, I've only got a few games on PS4 and I've basically completed them all. I've got like three games I completed them all. They're not, and so I need to get something new. There's there's a bunch of free games on the on the store to play, obviously, but I don't know I just need something new to play, which I'm really looking forward to Arkham Knight when it comes out because I'm gonna have the great week playing that. But yeah, I'm saying uh, pick this up if you can and get the season pass because there's a great lot of DLC out there that gives that just spans it. Um, unfortunately, they don't have anything from the Flash TV series. They have stuff from they've got DLC pack for the Arrow series. There's one with um, like Bizarro, uh, like the Bizarro Zaro kind of characters with Dark Side involved. Although that DLC was kind of a letdown, I thought it was going to be more of a story to it than just a single episode kind of thing. They got Man of Steel connections, the uh, Nolan Batman film trilogy uh, DLC involved for it. The DLC for the game isn't bad, and they've released a free DLC, a bunch of free, uh, female heroes and villains, which is pretty cool. Um, I've done I've done one or two videos about this game, but I haven't uploaded them, I've deleted them, because I didn't think there was uh, some bits in it that I didn't like. But there's actually uh, a decent amount I can talk about this game. And it was even, um, I did have a hint for a trick for getting unlimited studs, which if you haven't played a Lego game, studs is basically the money in Lego Batman. I know a way of getting unlimited studs just takes uh, how long you can be asked to do it for. It's not really difficult, it's just... Uh. Yeah, if you want to know about that, I might do a video about that. Uh, if you want to know what it is, you get unlimited studs, it just takes you just pretty much stand there holding down a button. That's pretty much it. It's just, the setup isn't, it doesn't take too long for the setup. But, yeah. Another, uh, a series I've gotten into, I've seen people talk about before and I really enjoyed what I got a part of. And I got this game. Uh, just after, yeah, a little after I did my PS3 collection, which you can watch online if you want. Go ahead, check it out. Um, and that's the Tale Tales of Graces F. Damn right. And I'm about 12 hours into the game. I got this a while back. I need to get back into the game and finish the story while I'm still so far into it and I can remember what's going on. And I know online people, I've checked out people's top lists of worst to best Tales games. Some people said this worse. Some people have said this like me, like middle. I think it's a middle, but I've, but this is my first Tales game, so I'm obviously going to be stuck in, enjoy, stuck into it, enjoying it, that kind of stuff. I'm really liking the story so far. Um, the opening intro, I love. Uh, yeah, I haven't uh, got any. I think the only DLC I've gotten for this is like the free stuff I'm on the PSN store. But I got this yesterday, which I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have spent the money. I should have waited because I've got stuff to buy for, but it was, it was a pretty good deal. So I picked it up, which is Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. Which, for you that don't know, um, this is basically a HD collection of two different, of two, of two Tales games. And that's Tales of Symphonia, and Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World, so the sequel to it. Which is pretty good. Um, I'm playing through the first one, I'm like, uh, I think a couple hours into it. And this, these games, um, the first one is like was back on the GameCube, and I think the second one was back on the PS2, maybe the GameCube. So, yeah. So, yeah. And it's it's even one to four players, which I didn't realise at the start. Well, that's pretty cool. So, yeah. 
Um, I'm a couple hours into it. The game's pretty fun. It plays differently to Tales of Grace of F, obviously. But, um, because I have a safe, safe file Grace of F, it's given me a bunch of costumes for this game, I think it said. Uh, I don't know if it's for, um, I don't know how to equip them yet. I've heard it's, it might be the titles, it might not be. If somebody can just let me know, if anyone watches this, if they know how to equip different costumes, or how to view them at least, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, I'm really getting to the Tales series. I know Tales of Zillia 1 and 2, I want to try. There's Tales of Hearts R on the Vita. If I get a Vita, if I get a Vita, that's one of the games I'm definitely going to pick up because I, it looks good. I've seen I've seen some stuff about the story, kind of looks alright. Um, yeah, and also the, uh, the basically, I think it keeps the, first, the same cast into the second game, but the character here, if I can get good. Uh, yeah, oh, damn light. See that character there, the male uh, protagonist. He's the male protagonist for the second game, and his look kind of reminds me of uh, Hasio from Dot Hack, which is I, I like the design for Hasio and the kind of feel to him. So I'm looking forward to playing the second one, but I'm not playing it until I finish the first one because I want the story to go. Because I know I think it's still in here. It's about um, two years, yeah, two years after the first one. So yeah, <clears throat> so I'm gonna wait. Uh, I was going to mention, yeah, I'm going to mention these anyway. Um, a game, before my birthday happened, I got my PS4, there was, I was looking at older game series that I hadn't played yet, that I wanted to play through and just try them out. Like, um, for example, Borderlands, which I found out there was a PS4, now there's the PS4 collection I knew about before, and I was going to wait till I had money. Then get those, even though it's cheaper if I get the PS3 or Xbox versions. I want to get something, so I've got something for my PS4, something to play. And um, I was looking at some older series, because I have a few games that are from odd collections and odd series and stuff. For example, this game I bought, I got from a friend of mine for like, I think it was like two, four quid. And that's Assassin's Creed. I've got a few Assassin's Creed games, but I don't know the story. I just play through them doing whatever the hell I want. So, because I started on Brotherhood, so I don't know where the story is at the moment. But, um,. I'm starting at the first game, I've got this, I've got uh, Brotherhood and Revelations and number three. I know I can get two really two I can get really cheap now, so I've got no problem getting that. And I was playing for Assassin's Creed. I think it was East no. Uh, it was Good Friday, I think it was. Yeah, Good Friday. I woke up at like five, six AM. No idea why I just woke up. I was waiting I was hoping to sleep till about ten. But I thought Oh, I might as well just stay up, and so I just put that in and ran and played that for a couple of hours. Which is pretty good. I can see where the difference is, uh, where the improvements came in, like around Brotherhood. But I've heard Assassin's Creed 2 is the best one, but I want to play through Assassin's Creed 1 first and then move on. And I'll restart the story for some of the others and play through them. Another game I got, um, I got into just about a bit before my birthday, and I'm about five hours into it, and I need to get back to it. Which is Mass Effect. Um, I know about the series. I never played any of them before, but I got the first. I got this the first game, and I've got the second game. I've gone both for about six fifty each, and uh, not each six fifty together. So it's hardly anything. And I know I can get the third one for about a fiver. And I know the fourth one has been hinted at, so I can play that on PS4 when that comes out as well. <clears throat> so I need to play back through this as well. So, so I sh I've got quite a backlist of games. I've got. Um, if I had to write down all the games I wanted to complete, like, if, but my bucket list of games is a long, long list of games on that. Another, I know about it, the Metal Gear series that people are probably give me crap about. I haven't played, I like played bits and pieces of certain games from the series, and I was playing through the first game, the other, because I thought, I know where I can get the HD collection on PS3, which has Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3, and... I think it was, I think it's called, uh, no, 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 um, Peace Walker, the PSP port, which I know is all part story, I know I can get the fourth game really cheap, and Ground Zeroes is on sale at the moment, like Easter sale, which I want to get, because it's like a fiver on PS4 if I download it, which is really cool, it's cheaper on PS3, but my PS3's got five to maybe about seven gigabytes of space left, and there's no way I'm going to fit a fucking whole game on there because there's a big sale of also Tales games if you want to check it out. They've got each Tales uh, Symphonia game on there, Tales of Zillia, 
uh, Granny says, if they've got all the Tales game on there for sale, so I recommend you go check that out before the sale goes. I'm not sure if it's gone yet or not, but yeah. Um, even the Mass Effect games, you can get those all free for about like a maybe a tenner, maybe less. If you, I recommend you check it out because it's a good sale. I just haven't got the money to buy any of the stuff or the space in my PS3 to do it. But yeah, anyway. Um, See, so yeah, I want to get back into the Mass Effect series and finish and maybe play through. Um, at least get through the first game, uh, kind of soon. I've, I'm in. I'm only five hours in, but I don't think I'm that far into the story. Because I know it's like an RPG shooter, and RPGs have a really long story. Apart from like South Park, which had like a twelve-hour story, which is still an amazing game. Which I did do talks about, but I didn't upload the videos, unfortunately. <coughs> which was, eh, yeah, pretty stupid. Pretty stupid. <laughs> There's also quite a few Wii, uh, Wii U games I want to pick up because I've only got like three. And the latest one I got was Smash Brothers for my birthday from my auntie. And I got a, um, hold on. Oh. And it's not the uh, Smash Brothers branded ones, but it's a um, GameCube adapter for the Wii U slash PC. And I can switch it between the two so I can use it for either, which is pretty cool. So if I want to use an emulator or something, I can use GameCube controllers. And I've got about, I've got enough GameCube controllers to play three, four players, which is cool. Uh, I've kind of just paused on it a bit because it's fun to play with friends and stuff, but I get kind of bored on my own a little bit. I normally play with my friends or my cousins, and so yeah. So yeah, that's basically uh, the DVD movie side, the game side, and something I've been reading lately, but I'm taking it in small doses because I'm not really. I'm I'm motivated to read more of it, but I'm kind of like pausing on it a bit, and that's uh, which I got round Christmas, past Christmas. Which is the Final Crisis storyline. I'm about. Uh, there's seven issues to this. There's two Superman issues and a Batman. No, yeah, two Superman issues, one other issue, and two Batman issues involved. And I've read. I think like. three of the issues so far. It's like 12. I've read like a quarter of the way through. Um, and it's, it's good so far. It's really good. Um, I know. I want to get the latest Flash uh, Volume 5, which is it's only on hardcover, and I've got paperbacks for 1 to 4, and if I get 5 on hardcover, it's going to bother me a bit. Because I'm... I've talked about this before. I I don't like it when the like it looks different among stuff. For example, if I get... Um, I say there's like 5 uh, volumes for a series, and I get 1, 2, uh, one, two 3, and 5 in paperback, and I get the 4th in hardcover, that just bothers me. I don't know why it just does and it, it's irritating it's irritating because it, it bothers me and the way it looks because I don't like because it doesn't look consistent and stuff. I've said this about like um like box sets like with my bleach box sets. I like the ones with slip cases in them because I think they look they look nicer and I've got most of them in slip case. I've got uh, two of them I like just the plain box version. One of them I don't mind because it's like the bound art stuff which I'm not really bothered about. The other one does kind of bother me. So, that kind of stuff bothers me. But um, I'm thinking of getting the Flash anyway, because uh, that's Volume 5. Volume 6 comes out in late June. And by the time 6 comes out, 5 will come out paperback. So I'm thinking I might as, I might as well just get the hardcover. Because I know places where I can get it, and it's going to cost me like an extra 2 quid or so. Which well, I'm not really fussed about, because I get to save, it saves me about 5 months. Um, I've ordered... Um, a convergence issue as well, which I'm gonna probably show in an unboxing or something, or I might just show in another video if I can be asked. And so, yeah, I talked about um, my turtle volumes. I've been reading, I've been reading more Transformer stuff. Um, yeah, I think, that, I think that might be about it. I've been looking. I'm I'm not really read any manga recently. There's not there's nothing I really. There's like one or two series I read online, like Shami King Flowers hasn't had a new chats in quite a while. I don't know if the series got cancelled or it's on hiatus or what, which it bothers me. I really want to get back into Flowers, but the series is just frozen at the moment. I'm, I'm sure I'd really research into why. But, uh, yeah, I'm a little behind on... I'm obviously behind on Naruto volumes, like, buying them, but I'm, I know how the series ends and everything. I'm really looking forward to what they do with the... Um, I think it's the Boruto manga, manga series that comes out this month, that starts publishing this month. I'm looking forward to that because I love, I love the Naruto series 
Oh, and um, complete season five box set for those who know about it. I've done a review of seasons one, two, three, and four. That comes out in. Why is it today? In about a week, I think. It's complete season five comes out. If you want to go look on Amazon, I might put the link in the description so you can go check it out. Which covers from. Oh, where did the last one? This covers the whole uh, Sasuke uh, fighting Dunzo. It goes. It ends just before Naruto learns how learns how um, goes against the Nine Tails, meets his parents, and learns how to use um, his uh, QB powers. So it it cuts off just before then. Like it's got the filler stuff. Then it just cuts just before. And I can't remember where it starts off after last but I saw I think of the anime series from season four. Uh, it happens after Pain. I think it happens just after Sasuke fights Killer B. I think from just after Killer B to just before now to learn his QB powers, that's how that's what's in, inside that. Which is fine because I haven't watched really any of that bit. I know what happens, I know all of that, but I haven't really watched it. So that'd be uh, cool to watch. I think it's like 49 episodes, I think. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, I think that's about it. Oh, and if you can hear uh, like weird noises, that would be my dog on the floor just snoring away. Um, so, yeah, I think that's about it. I don't think there's much else to talk about. But, yeah, yeah I'm going to try and stay motivated. Do a couple videos today. Uh... Yeah, do a couple of videos today. Um, hopefully, I can send my way to do that. And yeah, I'll have stuff to upload for the next week or two. Yeah, good, like a decent, decent couple of videos, and then I'll catch up a little bit later. Um, there's one or two other things I want to talk about, but I think I might do a separate video for that stuff, to be honest. So yeah, I think that's about it. I've talked about a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, if you want to ask me any questions about anything I've talked about, go ahead. If you want to question me, um, like ask anything, like yeah. If you want to ask anything about the same thing I mentioned, if you want to give any uh, like detailed information about certain stuff, like um, what's I asked about? Uh, asked, oh yeah, about the tails. How do I change the costumes? If you know, if it is the title stuff because I'm only a couple hours in at the moment. Um, I think maybe two or three, and there's uh, there's something in Tasmania I wish they added a little bit more of the stuff that I wish they did a bit more of, but I can leave that for another video with no problem. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, said I'm behind on manga volume, so I've got nothing really to talk about there. Um, I need to catch up with Yu-Gi-Oh, Fardies, and Zeal. Volume, volume. Yeah, volume six of the all came out. Volume seven or five D came out, but I haven't read volume six yet. I've still got it. Um, I just haven't read it yet, which is weird because I normally read it straight away. So I've got those to buy and read. Um, Card Fight Vanguard. I've got the first three volumes. I need to get four. I think five might be out. Uh, I'm not sure about six. Not sure about six. Um, the LBX. I know there's three volumes for that, which I need to get. There's a couple more paperbacks. Oh. Before I forget, I also watched the animated movie of Batman vs. Robin. It's a great film. If you're going to watch it and you haven't watched... Uh, what was it? I what it's called. Uh, Son of Batman. Watch Son of Batman first, because they are both good films. And it's good to watch the first one, because then you get more of an idea of the second one, if you don't, if you haven't. Um, so yeah, and it's also motivated me to pick up... Watch, I wanted, to, I wanted to pick up the new 52 Batman stuff, but I just haven't, because there'll be more... Uh, thinking about other stuff like mainly the Flash series and stuff, but um, yeah, I'd I'd recommend you watch uh, Son of Batman, and it's not going to feel like effort because they are both good films to watch. They're enjoyable. They've got great story, great character, great character stuff to them. It's really good. I recommend you watch it. You watch both of them. They're really good. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, what I call this a vlog, or just an overall. I'm not sure if I call this a vlog or an overall update, but yeah. Um, yeah, any questions about anything? Go ahead. If you've got any information about certain series, like stuff I should maybe check out or not. Go ahead. Any game series I should check out? I looked at Borderlands. Um, what was it? Obviously, Assassin's Creed and Mass Effect. Uh, I think there's a few other series I looked at, but I can't remember what they were. But yeah.
Um, that's pretty much it. It's Casual Four saying thanks. Like, comment, subscribe. Any questions you got about anything? Go ahead. Uh, thanks and goodbye.